Welcome back. Well, we have a wonderful guest here today from the Hogue Medical Group. We have Dr. Elizabeth Yanni. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. And what we're going to talk about today is as we get to the holidays, we, um, you know, we often, I think more than anything, as we were talking before, uh, you start to stress out about a lot of things. And there's a lot to do in a very short amount of time, which can be a lot of fun, but it can be daunting. And you want to stay healthy. Certainly, quite often, you're around a lot more people. So you know, you're worried about, uh, let's not, hopefully, you don't get a cold or sick or anything like that. So uh, that's kind of what we're talking about, right? Okay. So as far as the holidays impact people's health, how do you see it? You know, this is supposed to be an amazing time of the year. It's supposed to be joyous, relaxing, a time to get together, and yeah. really have fun with the ones you love. And what you generally see is a lot of stress and mm -hmm. a lot of heartache, and people are running around trying to get things done. And in addition to all of that, you see a lot of illness. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the single best, most effective things anyone can do this season is please get your flu shot. You know, we right. really highly recommend it. Um, it is a myth that it causes the flu. It does mm -hmm. not cause the flu. And it has been shown to prevent a lot of fatalities and death. And it can be very life-threatening in an older population as well as a younger population, too. Okay. Now, if you want to get that flu shot, is it readily available to most Absolutely. people? Absolutely. Almost okay. all pharmacies have it readily available. Your primary care doctor will have it. Um, there's definitely different options you can do as far as insurance covering it or out-of-pocket cost. It's available at a very low price, so okay. it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> I think that's a good tip. Now, as far as uh, you know, one of the things you put down here is hygiene trips, tips. How can people prevent passing along germs and all that kind of stuff? And again, this time of the year, it's uh, usually more prevalent just simply because you're around a lot more people. Gen in general, you are. Absolutely. You know, yes, uh, two days ago, my family and I went to Disneyland, and oh boy, just the amount of crowds and yeah. how many people are around you. One of the simple things is carry some ha hand sanitizer around. Mm -hmm. It's very readily available, cheap, keep it in your pockets, use it every couple hours, um, keep napkins around for a runny nose or a cough, always wash your hands when you can. There's simple basic things that you can do that will definitely protect you from getting sick. Yeah, definitely. And if I may pass along with that too, is this time of the year there's a lot of cooking being done and um, food safety, cross-contamination, you got to be very careful mm -hmm. about that. So Absolutely. Uh, that's, that's something that you really, you don't want to get yourself or your family sick because you did not properly wash uh, everything, your cutting board or, you know, I always Absolutely. tell people, take care of the vegetables and the cold stuff before you bring out any kind of meat you want to prep. I agree. That's an excellent yeah. advice. The other thing with food that you want to consider is it is a time to indulge. Yes. And people consider the fact that it's only a month. I'm going mm -hmm. to enjoy myself. And the New Year's resolution with many people is I'll lose the weight. And what we try and tell people is that moderation in all things. Right. There's really a lot to say about the 80%, 20% rule. Be good five days of the week if you know that the weekend is coming and you're going to go to those parties or gatherings yeah, and you're going to splurge. Exactly. You can consider that your reward. Also realize that eating a lot of sugar, the processed foods, um, the fatty foods, that's not going to help you in staying healthy. Right. So. so yeah, that's a very good point. You know, you probably know the times you're going to have a great time and not want to worry about it. And you still have several days during the week that you can eat more, more healthy and all that kind of stuff. And That's correct. And uh, maybe just have one cookie instead of five or exactly. something. <laughs> we have a lot of cookies at home right now. Here we get go. them by wife being a teacher, comes home with like boxes and boxes. Of As do most families. <laughs> yeah. And it's great. You it's can amazing. enjoy yourself too, just moderation. Yeah, exactly. What about, um, you know, in general, uh, this time of the year, as far as people might be on um, special medication and diets and things like that. And they quite often travel. And it's important that if they're uh, taking something like this, whatever it might be that they need on a daily basis to make sure that they bring enough with them and all, right? Correct. You know, plan ahead. That's one of the big things. And I think amidst the stress and the <clears throat> running around, if you are planning on traveling or going somewhere, 
sit down just for a few moments and plan ahead, especially if you're on medications or injections or um, a special diet. You don't want to be caught in a situation where you're unprepared and your health will suffer. And you also right. don't want to be in a different state or country and have to be relying on medical resources that you're not accustomed to. So the best thing is really just being prepared, looking ahead, yeah. and making sure that everything is set. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's go back a little bit talking about uh, the stress and all, and which can be something that uh, can rear itself medically. And for some people, it's, you know, they're just stressed for a few hours trying to get stuff done. But I think as far as just keeping healthy, take some time and take some moments of just kind of doing nothing. I mean, even if Absolutely. you're sitting there watching an old Christmas movie or something on TV, sometimes you need that. Absolutely. There's a well-known association between stress mm -hmm. and the lowering of the immune system. And what you really want to consider is during this time and this season, enjoy it. Live in the moment. You know, if you're out and about with your children or your family, take a moment and look at how happy they are and mm -hmm. the magic that's lit up in their faces, which is only really what Christmas can bring. Right, right. Um, and like you said, in the evening, if you're going to have to wrap gifts, put on a Christmas movie. Enjoy it. Make it fun. Um, we also talk about how the malls, shopping malls, can be very stressful. Well, there's a way you can make it unstressful. I know that parking is difficult. Park in the furthest spot. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be battling any other cars or honking right. horns. And at the same time, you'll get that a little bit of exercise each day. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I, I, I tell people, uh, I've done this in the past before, maybe you're, all your shopping is done and all that. Sometimes it's fun to go to a mall and just sit back and you know have a cup of coffee or whatever it is and relax and kind of watch people going by not because they're hurrying and scurrying about but you really begin to take in the season that way even you know as you were at Disneyland a few days ago if you have that moment to just sit down although it's hard yeah. and just watch everyone go by and take in everything wherever it may be is sometimes uh, the best you know you take in that moment Absolutely, and that's yeah. why a lot of people travel to Europe, for example, with the cafes and the yeah. shops, and they sit and watch and enjoy themselves, and they live in the moment. And you can do that here, too. Go to a local Starbucks or the mall, sit down, enjoy yourself. Like you said, have a cup of coffee, a pastry, and just live. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure's and all And you're mine. part of uh, Hogue Medical Group. Are you here uh, uh, nearby off San Canyon? I'm in the Aliso Viejo office. Oh, okay. In the Aliso Viejo Town Center. And I'm one of the four physicians there. I'm an okay. internal medicine physician and a pediatrician. So I'm Very good. Boarded. All right. Fantastic. Pleasure to meet Pleasure's you. Pleasure's all mine. Thank you. You take care. You and too. we'll be right back.